G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now getting users to apply metadata to your documents can be sometimes of a challenge. Now, I'm gonna show you a way that we can default the metadata um, so that it does, I guess, allow for the users not to uh, have to have that extra step. Now, this is going to be using folders. Let's have a look first at setting default values on our columns. So we can see here that I've got training manuals as uh, a document library. We've got all of these options here. So we're going to uh, focus specifically on category. So if I go into library settings here and I go to more library settings, and let's just jump down into, let's go category, all right? So category is a choice column. Now, if I open up category here, you can see that we can set a default um, value. So if I go and I'll copy compliance and I'll pop that in the choice, um, the default value of choice there, and I'll click OK. So what that means simply is every time a document is uploaded to my trainings manual document library, it will get that default value. So if I grab a document, uh, and I'll drag and drop it across. And then what we will see is we'll see that that category will be automatically set. So you can see there, and it is set to compliance. And we could do that for the other columns as well. Now that's all well and good, but what if we've got a folder structure and we wanna have different defaults based on that folder structure? So for example, what we could do is we could say uh, compliance manuals, let's go uh, compliance training actually. We'll give this a color of purple and we'll hit create. Now let's just set, and I'll go to library settings and I'll go to more library settings. Now I'm going to set the default cat, uh, default value for category at the library level. Let's call this uh, advice process, right? So I'm gonna change that to advice process. Now any document that gets uploaded to that document library will get that particular value, but I don't want documents inside of the compliance training to get that advice process default value. So what we can do is we can set default based on the folder. So if I again go back into library settings and I'll go to more library settings, then what we can do is go to column default value settings. Now inside here, I can click on the left hand side, I can click my compliance training. And then on the category, we can see that the default value is set to advice process. Now I don't want that, all right? So I wanna use this value instead. So I want to set um, compliance as the default. Now I just need to double check that. I'll set the default there. Now, if I go back to training manuals and let's go back to settings, I'll go back to training manuals and I'll say compliance. So that's good. So let's test this out. So if I upload a document to the document library, that should get advice process as default. Now, if I go into compliance training and then I drag a document across into compliance training, we can see that that gets the default value of compliance. So that's a way that we can enhance and improve the user experience for our users to, in this case, just take that one step away from um, from having to set that, that, that value. Now, what if we don't want this view to show our folders? Well, we can do that as well, right? So we can create a view. I'll go to more library settings and I'm gonna go down into all documents. And I'm gonna click on all documents because that's our view. Now, what, I want, what I'm gonna go down here is I'm gonna say expand folders. Now, I wanna show all items without folders, all right? So let's call, actually what we'll do, let's cancel this. I'll leave the default one, all documents as uh, with folders and let's create a new view and we'll call this no folders. And I'll make that public. And now I want to edit this view. So I wanna edit this custom view. And now what we can do is we can go down to folders and we can click and we can go show all items without folders. I'll scroll back up to the top and I will click OK. So there is all of our files without folders. Now I'm going to just select compliance and you can see there's our, doc there's our two documents that we've marked as compliance. Now that all documents view, you could 
you could name that view anything you like. So you could have folders set up for maybe for um, the administrative purposes or create a view that has the folders and have your folder structure, then have the default metadata set per, uh, per folder. But then also, but maybe the, the default view then shows to everybody else uh, without view, without folders. And then you get that visualization of a flat folder structure, but with that metadata.